Tip number 55, use different footprint for resistors and capacitors, even they are the same size. For example, all 8, all 5. This is what I mean. This is a simple footprint library, and you can see there are two different footprints for all 8, all 5 components. Can you see them? This is the R0805. It's for resistors. This one is C0805. This one is for capacitors. Yeah, you are right. <laughs> Can you see the difference? Watch this. This is the capacitor. This is the resistor. Capacitor. Resistor. Yeah, the footprints are a little bit different. The paths here on the resistor, they are a little bit shorter comparing to this one. Yeah, the capacitors are a little bit taller, so they need a little bit bigger paths for better, better soldering. Resistors are quite small, so they don't need so big paths. If uh, you would like to know the exact dimensions of these paths, you can just Google for it, yeah, for a recommended pattern for resistors and for the capacitors. Or I can show you an example. This is the document what I really like, there is a very nice table. Just Google for all 805 footprint. Here it is, this one. Go on page number seven. These are the dimensions which we are going to check. For example, we would like to see this C number and compare between the resistor and between capacitor. So I just go down. There is this table for resistors. And normally for SMT components, we use reflow soldering. So for all 805 resistor footprint, the C dimension would be 0.7 millimeter. If we have a look on capacitor, this is table for capacitors, all 805, C dimension, 0.9. Yeah, so it's 0.7 for the resistors, 0.9 for the capacitor. And uh, the reason why we have two footprints is not only because the, um, cap the footprint is different between capacitors and resistors, but also because we, we assign two different 3D models to these footprints. For the resistors, we use the black 3D model, yeah? so it looks more like resistors. For the capacitors, we use yellow 3D model, so it looks more like capacitors. And then when you have a look on your on the 3D model of your board, it looks more realistic. And also you can more easily identify which of the components are resistors and which are the capacitors. It's sometimes very useful to see the difference. So don't forget, yeah, two main reasons for two different footprints the 3D model and the dimensions. When uh, I was starting with hardware design, we used to have only one footprint, or 805 footprint, but uh, yeah, it may not be the best idea. You may want to consider to use two different footprints. Tip number 55, use different footprint for resistors and capacitors, even they are the same size. Why? Recommended length patterns are different. You may also want to use different 3D models for capacitors and different for resistors.